You can't What's wear going glasses? on with my homemade G. You can't wear your glasses because then we can't see your beautiful eyes. I guess I don't need them. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. You do whatever you want. Whatever you need. I don't need no stinking glasses. I need a drink, homie. I haven't even taken a sip. Oh my goodness, why is so good? Why, why? Mm. I'm having that cab sob. So good. Mm. So, so, so good. How do I do it so that the screen is one on top and one? Or no, you know what? Actually, that's lame. Never mind. I don't want that. I changed my mind. Take it back. I take it back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do that. But I'm gonna make myself bigger. And actually, and yeah, I don't want to do that because last podcast, remember, I did that, and it actually wasn't the whole podcast, which is good because otherwise, you hardly would have been on screen. Because <laughs> you know, whenever whoever's talking, it, like sometimes um, Zoom focuses on that person. I don't have it to do that because I want us to both, you know. But um, anyway, is my thing look okay? I feel like I'm all crooked and shit. Uh, oh. Ugh. 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 I'm crooked. No, you look good. I um. Oh. I had a a little. It wasn't a it wasn't a hectic day. I'm not gonna trying to complain. I had the day off and I did everything that I wanted to do, but it was a lot. Um, but um, I was rushing over here, and you know I take my director's chair apart every time we're not potting, so I have to screw a couple of things whenever we're gonna do the pot. And I was lazy, so I didn't. So I had I don't have a thing to put my feet. So now my feet are like dangling. <laughs> I'm just going to put it up here. But, oh. <laughs> it's the money shot. <laughs> wish, Hello. I wish you did give me some money, Colby. <laughs> I know. I need some money or more alcohol. Look at what I did. Tell me if you could tell. Did you shave the sides? I try to create my own hairline. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I see it. <laughs> what happened is I have a lot of baby hair. So much that I was noticing that I don't really have a shape, a good shape of a forehead, like a decent sized forehead. I'm not talking about no Rihanna or nothing crazy, but like, you know, a decent sized forehead. And uh, so I was like, I have so much hair. If it doesn't come out, it'll grow anyway. Let me go ahead and bzzz, and I was like, oh fuck. So one side was more than the other. So I tried it and I was like, you know what? It's crooked as fuck, but it's not like I don't wear hats every time I'm out. So, but now I have to because <laughs> it looks funky, bro. <laughs> I, I gave myself a hairline. Hey, the dolphins beat the Raiders. Shut the fuck up. Hey, bro, let me get some sound up in this bitch. I think so. I just saw a, a, a thing. Let me check because I was going to tell you your team plays Joel's team. And I didn't want to get your hopes up because the Raiders have been doing good. Okay. And the Dolphins, eh, you know. But um, actually, the game's not over, bro. One They're point. One point minutes. lead, I think it said. Yep. Two minutes on the fourth that's fucking cool bro i bet joel's right now shitting his pants i can't believe like if the dolls beat him he's gonna have diarrhea for a week <laughs> well, let's hope that no i don't want him to have diarrhea <laughs> oh well i mean I want the dolls to win i think that's fair i think it's fair and uh how bad are you? How you're not doing that bad, right? Let me see. The dolphins are nine and five. So you've lost five, nine games and won five. That's not as bad as they usually do. <laughs> but we'll, well see. The quarterback is the young. Raiders have the ball though, bro. 
the quarterback is young, so um, they're going to do good next year at least, right? Well, the thing is, is that, well, yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> My quarterback almost lost his leg. Did you know that? Yes. Like, so, but hey, if um, hopefully the Dolls win for La Rizzi, so... <laughs> get some volume up in this bish my computer is asking me if i'm playing music there's no no see my brother laughs and says how come you hate talking to because i say i don't talk to those bitches you know i don't talk to siri i don't talk to alexa i don't talk to those bitches and he's like why are you like old school and you're weird about talking to computers and i'm like they don't really understand me. Like right now it's asking me, do you want me to set up for music playing? Nobody's even playing music. Just because my voice is so melodic and beautiful doesn't mean it's music, computer. <laughs> computer. <laughs> That's my cat looking at me. Like, Fenputa does not compute. Just kidding. Some uh, geeky Futurama shit. Oh my gosh, I had so much to talk to you about and I was so ready. Um, and I'm not anymore. <laughs> I first of all wanted to tell you, because I just uh, experienced this. Don't you feel like brooms should be made for people our, our size? And then the shorties can just figure it out on their own? Because I feel like I'm always having to like bend my, like bend my back to sweep. Why can't I just, if the, if the stick was bigger, hey what she said that's what she said then i could hold on to it better that's what she said <laughs> what'd you say what'd you say need a big ass stick i need a big ass stick <laughs> that's what she said that's what she said <laughs> anyway i do want a big stick though for the room why don't they make brooms taller, bro? They should be, like, for people... Not, I'm not talking, like, fucking... Uh, what's his name? Taco, the basketball player, or, like, Kevin Durant, or anybody like that. I'm talking about people are our size. That's the size they should make the brooms, like... Like, 5'7", five, 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, five, and then the shorties, they'll just have the big old stick hanging from the top, and I'm sorry, you know? But it's not fair to our backs... That we have to break our backs. Speaking of backs, I want to tell you something also real quick. I was watching the porn this morning. And uh, <laughs> the girl was one of those girls that, you know, those girls that kind of like are walking or like stand up a little bit. Like, how do you say? Like their back is. Hunched, yeah. Like hunched. the hunchback of Notre yeah. Dame. <laughs> yeah. A little bit hunched. You know, those girls that kind of just are like that. I know one of my cousins used to do that because she felt she was too tall, so she tried to make herself smaller, you know? But she wouldn't. Like, my grandma always told me to stand up straight with my back straight. As a matter of fact, a gem, real quick gem, I owe cats and kittens. Uh, when I moved to the U.S., um, people used to make fun of me because of that, because the way I sat, because I always sat, you know, with my back straight. And they're like, why are you sitting like that? You look like an idiot. And I was like, this is the only way I know how to sit. But now I sit like other people, you know. But um, anyway, going back to the going back to the porn, poor thing. It was one of those casting ones when they're like just learning. We're just gonna take a few pictures. Like you should be ready to take dick in the butt if you go to one of those things. I want all you girls to know. Don't ever think, oh, it's a few pictures for a thousand dollars or a few thousand. No, you're gonna suck some dick. You're gonna take some dick in the ass. That's just the way life is. But anyway, um, so she goes, she goes to the casting and the guy tells her to take off her clothes. And then um, uh, he tells her, turn around, bend over. But she bends with her back arch because she's not used to having her, you know, what are you doing, Tenoch? <sighs> anyway, uh, so you, I'm talking to you. Anyway, so um, she bends over with her little back all arch. And if you know anything about porn, ladies, um, you need to really stick up your butt. Like, you know, and suck in your tummy and stick out the butt. 
but do the little curve, you know, on the back. So the butt is, you know what I'm talking about? Or am I, or, you know, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the guy talk. Okay. <laughs> so you're supposed your to, back. you have to arch, arch your thing. back. There you go. Arch your back is what you need to do. If you're trying to look sexy, remember we had a conversation about if we, if we videotaped ourselves having sex, it probably wouldn't be good. It's because we don't do that. We don't worry. We don't arch our back to make it look pretty. We just fuck. You know what I mean? But girl, you're on camera. You got to arch your back. So the poor thing, she's bent down and the guy's like, grab your ass and spread them. And it wasn't even sexy. I felt bad for her. So I was like, you shouldn't do this. Go back to school. Anyway. I did finish the porn and it was actually pretty good, but uh, <laughs> I just thought it was funny that she, so when I was sweeping earlier, I was just like, man, a girl like that, she's the one that can sweep good because she already got her back like that. I, on the other hand, need something taller that I could just, you know, do this. Anyway, let's get this shit started. <laughs> One, two, one, two, test, test, one, two. Que onda, way? We are uh, the Bodega Cats. Fat cat. And it continues to be late. I am 50 foot pages. And Larisi is here. Yeah. <laughs> We're wearing our gear. If you, um, you guys, Sio Cats and Kittens are, are watching on YouTube and you want some of this gear, hit us up on the comments and uh, we'll charge you for it. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I when we wanted it. when we wanted to give you free shit, you wouldn't want it. So now you got to pay for it. Yeah, we need to get more views, people. So view us. Guess what? For more than more. nine minutes. What? Yeah. <laughs> So today is kind of our anniversary. <laughs> Io cats and kittens, you are witnessing one year of the bodega cats. The fat cat. It's a year. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Ow. Ow. What she said. But um yeah, so technically today is kind of like a year from our podcast. So salud, homie. Um thank you for this wonderful adventure you have taken me um to thank through. You. <laughs> no, but yeah, that's cool. So we kind of recorded the first podcast about a year ago, a little bit earlier, um, because it was a little bit before Christmas, I think. <laughs> But technically, the way they fall, this is the one-year anniversary pot. So, episode 57. Um, and I'm not drunk today, you guys. <laughs> if you listen to the last two podcasts, especially the one today, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're never festive. What do you mean? I'm festive. Yeah, we'd be festive for once. And then what did I say? Um uh, some co uh, drunky talk with some like the cigar situation with uh oh and then I I'm think like, it's let's see I'm like obsessive <laughs> I'll like defend I'll get in all hurt <laughs> and then I say when I say things is like I think it's funny I tell uh, my people that I say like it's facts like no this is a fact and then I say a bunch of erroneous shit in the same sentence. And I'm like, it's a fact. Like I was talking to you something about the lady that the dog ate her face. I'm like, this is a fact. And I'm not saying it's not, but then I went to like, he ate his face. And then I switched to a he. I don't know how or why, bro. <laughs> oh my God. It was a lady. It's true. But yeah, I don't know what was going on there. And then um, I had like all kinds of theories and epiphanies and shit. That's the one thing I like though about uh, my cope drunkenness. But sometimes I just need to shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> I just tell you, uh, let's let's go. I got something on my teeth. Oh, you do? Okay. Well, it's because I've been drinking red wine and it 
makes my lips all. I was actually going to drink wine today and I thought about the same thing. My lips are going to be all purple by the, by half, by the 40 minute. I'm going to be all drunk with purple mouths and teeth. I wouldn't Maybe care I'll about Maybe I'll put the... more lipstick on. Maybe I should put some lipstick on. on. <laughs> Just kidding. What? <laughs> I said maybe I should put some lipstick on. <laughs> or anyway, test it. My mom says I should stop drinking. <laughs> ah. <laughs> because we also had, I also, we, me and Peaches um, and the other crazies up here had another, uh, not an episode. I thought we had a great time on Christmas, but apparently I was too much is what I was told. And, uh, oh, and I was like telling you um, that uh, something, what was I telling you about like HBO and like, I'm never going to watch Westworld, never going to do it. And then my <laughs> brother got HBO and I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm going to watch Westworld. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching that shit tonight. <laughs> Speaking of HBO, did you watch uh, WW84? I didn't get a chance this morning I was editing the podcast finishing everything up and then I had to go uh do the stuff that I was doing uh earlier so I didn't get a chance so I'm gonna watch that shit um I don't want to watch it tonight because I want to enjoy it so probably tomorrow that'll be a tomorrow thing I don't know I don't know because I hate watching a really good movie when there's light outside I don't know why I need everything to be dark so I might watch, try to watch it tonight, depending on how the podcast ends. I either watch it tonight or tomorrow. Did you watch it? I did. Oh, is it good? I won't say anything. Is it good? Or? Yeah. Just watch it. Okay. Form your own opinion. Is Kristen Wiig's good? Yeah. Kristen, she's funny. yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. I was actually going to, uh, I had it on my list. I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, but another thing I wanted to tell you when, uh, on my cove drunkenness, um, how I was all upset about the people that steal Christmas decorations. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to go John Wick on them. <laughs> Motherfuckers. But no, nah, but uh, so excuse my cove drunkenness. Um, I had a really good day actually that day, so I was feeling good. And yeah, I don't remember much of that podcast, but it wasn't that, mm, too bad, I don't think. We'll see. My mother would say otherwise, but that's why she's banned from the podcast. She can't watch her here. Um, <laughs> oh, but you know the other good one that I started watching, bro? Or that I think I finished it? Euphoria. You always told me about that show, remember? What is it? Euphoria with uh, Zendaya. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. You're right. It was good. I wish there was more seasons. But two years later, here you, here I am talking about it because I finally saw it. Really good shit, bro. It was, it's very different. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest with you. Oh, I love that show. It's just so... I think they won. For what? The Dolls. An Emmy or something? Oh, they won? Oh, shit. Let's see. Let us see if the wonderful Lorisi dolls. Oh, man. If they beat the Raiders, I'm telling you. You better text Joel. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, he'll be mad. He's, he, he gets so upset, he really do, doesn't talk to anybody. Uh, Dolphins 26, Raiders 25. To get out of Orlando oops, with oops, his second straight bowl oops, victory. Oops, oops, oops. Shut up, shut up. Oh, but shut Kelly up. this time drinks into the end zone. I'm going to edit that because NFL is just as big of a bitch as Apple. Like, they charge for NFL, everything. NFL, suck my puss. <laughs> I know. It's like, this uh, broadcasting is blah, 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 blah. It's fucking called American football. If it's not for us, then why would you invite us to the party? Exactly. You already make millions and millions and millions of money. Speaking about that. Um, like free advertisement, bitches. That's true. You're right. And I know they don't need it. They don't need anything because they're so rich, but, and they don't care about their players. They're getting like all kinds of like, what's it called? CTU or what's it called? Um, their brains are getting all smush. They're like smashed potatoes. <laughs> but anyway. Tr tr uh, 
cerebral trauma something. CTU, right? Yeah, something. Yeah, so. I know it's cerebral trauma to the brain. My mascara is runny. Oh, no. See, that's why I don't use mascara. Just kidding. Have I told you uh, this is a jam, okay, you guys? This is a jam. Where's our jam thing? <laughs> this is not a drink. Not the jam. <laughs> um, <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for prom, my mom and my grandma, they wanted to put makeup on me. They were all excited because they finally got to put a dress on me since, uh, you know, years ago when I was a little kid. And they put makeup. And they even give me a shawl, shawl, a shawl, you know, yeah. own child. So I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? And they're like, you just hold it. So I was like, so I'm like going to walk around like T-Rex all night. So the shawl is like hanging from my arms. Like, no, like, where do I wrap this? Anyway, <laughs> they put makeup on me and I had a great time. And when I came home, my mom was like, oh, ay, Dios mio. And I was like, what? And, and then my grandma, and they're almost crying and shit. I was like, what happened? And then I look in the mirror, and they're like, uh, they're like, were you like this all night? And I was like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. So then I go in the mirror, and I look like, what's that rocker that has the mascara? And then he draws black running down his eyes all the way down his cheek. The kiss? One of the kiss Either one of the kids guys or there's this other guy, I forgot his name is, but he's the lead singer and he wears like a lot of mascara and eyeliner and then he drags the eyeliner like running down his face like tears kind of, like two lines. That's exactly what I look like. And I was like, no wonder all the boys wanted to dance with me. <laughs> it's like that you were like, oh. Let's go with this drunk easy broad over here. <laughs> Because I love dancing and I was such a dork and nerd, nobody ever invited me anywhere. I was having a fucking blast on the dance floor, bro. So all the guys wanted to dance with me. And I thought, like, it's because of my moves. And <laughs> now it was actually because I look like a slut on the floor. <laughs> they were going to get some. They thought. <laughs> <laughs> they thought. I was like, where's your sister? Just kidding. <laughs> what she looked like <laughs> bring your sister bring your sister if you did or what's that song what's that song called? never mind i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i know i used to go to dances and i just like i would dance by myself and people it wasn't cool back then to dance <laughs> yourself oh it shit bad like, bunny oh. literally says that Ella está soltera, antes de que se pusiera de moda. Hey, it me dice Some, chicks, some <laughs> chicks would come and dance with me, but then, then they would move away because I'd be like, mm, 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 mm. but now you can go on the dance floor and just dance. Remember that time you went on that dance floor and we would be like dance for like four hours? <laughs> no, when? Remember when we went with those girls and they never got on the dance floor. They just looked at us through the... We went with some bitches? Yeah, it was like four or five of us. Oh, shit. You remember? We went we to... Go? We went to Sisters. And then we went to... Oh, damn. I can't remember. The last time I remember us going to Sisters was New Year's. Remember that our was just that, you and I. Remember our friend that's Native American? Oh, we went to Sisters with her? And then there were other people that worked where we used to work. We sound so ratchet say. like we only have one Native American friend. We do, bro? Is that for real? What's wrong with us? <laughs> fucking racist she's Just one kidding. of our native american i have friends. another one that i really like that i but i she's too good and nice i can't corrupt her but anyway um i don't remember that time but that's lame why didn't they dance i don't know but we were all 
I think no oh. one was on the dance floor except you and I. <laughs> oh, you and I murder the dance floor every time that. Like they can't, there can't be a dance floor around us, or else it's gonna get murk by the end of the night. Murk, murder, mur murder, murder, murder. She wrote on that dance floor once. Lorisi and Peaches hit the stage, and then they started coming and dancing once we danced a few moves. Like, oh, look, they're being fools. We're gonna be a fools. Well, the thing is, is that you gotta be confident to dance by yourself. They say that there's. There's no more of a confident woman than the woman that dances by herself with her arms above her waist. So if you have your arms up, they're like, they, it doesn't get more confident than that. And I've noticed after I heard that, and it's true. You don't see a woman that's not confident dancing with her hands up. And I'm not saying go crazy like a drunk ass bitch, you know? I mean, like, with you know, but they do say that there's also no white girl that gets on the dance floor and dances with her mouth closed. <laughs> ah. <laughs> they say either they're biting their lip or their mouth is open. White girls, when they're really getting down. <laughs> I just get the face like, mm, you gotta have the stink face. Oh, well, you know, I'll, we'll sound uh, racist again or like we we don't go outside of our houses. Um, my my black friend, <laughs> just kidding. I had this one black friend. She showed me the battle face is what she said. You have to have a battle face. So when people want to battle you, you make this like nasty face and that's like a battle face. And if you see like all like the African tribes and stuff when they were like doing their thing, they do have a face because you're supposed to intimidate your opponent. So she taught me that face, which I make it sometimes. And people are like, don't make that face. And I'm like, this isn't for your pleasure, you fucks. <laughs> this is for you to, for me to pleasure. show you. You cannot fuck with me. Even on the dance floor, I'll fuck you. <laughs> I'll fuck you up. Damn, bro. You would think I'm drunk. But actually, I'm dry. Um, can I go dry? grab another drink real quick? There's some wet ass. There ain't no wap in this house. There ain't no wap in this house. <laughs> yeah. Um, I need to get something in the wing. wing. Some? What think? should I should I get? I should make a hard drink. Oh, my brother was telling me that you wanted a bloody Mary. Yes. I don't remember that. And then he's like, Isn't that for the morning? And I'm like, for whenever <laughs> <laughs> and my mom's like you shouldn't drink that much and I was like it was Christmas and I'm alone <laughs> Ch childless Aww. you know like uh, and my actual child was here in the bodega while I was over there so it's like what do you want me to do it's like nah I'm going to go ahead and have some drinks. I think I was fine. Was that ratchet? I just. Yeah. I once you, your boss is telling me something. Well, I think that your family thought that because I could see the looks on their faces. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. Like how? Oh, tell us. Tell like, us. <laughs> watch out. And my mom's like, and then you were telling your nephew something about this dog? What does it matter? And she's like, well, because it was nonsense. I'm like, what does it matter? He tells me that he can convert me into ice. Why can I tell him nonsense? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, just, I don't know but they were just like all like are you okay and then <laughs> do you want some coffee do you want some coffee I made you coffee <laughs> and I wasn't ready to go to bed so I still kept going I thought I put my headphones on and I was minding my own business but my brother says that I was rapping out loud <laughs> and they could hear me in the next room <laughs> let me get my drink <laughs> okay I ain't got no bra on, bitch, I'm letting hang. Well, how does that song go? 
Actually, we prefer to stay. Con el perro está solito. Con mi se pone bellaquita. Ella perra sola. Y me dice papi. Que había duro como la té. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> I'm singing while you come back. <laughs> That's what you That's do. Like... That's what you do. <laughs> really? Yes. I don't Did remember. You, you haven't heard the last podcast? No. I, I saved all your, your Christmas caroling. <laughs> well, why? So you cut that. I didn't watch it up to there. there. If you're on camera. I'm thinking you're doing it for the camera. <laughs> I don't, oh, man. If you were trying to hide it. Sound dumb. How would you sound dumb singing a Christmas carol? The only damn. Just kidding. Whoa. I'll edit this. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. I get it. <laughs> just kidding, you guys. Everybody, just kidding. Everybody, calm down right now. We're about to start in five, four, three, two, one. Just kidding. Um, so drugs. <laughs> so drunk. Now nah, you know that show Euphoria. Bro, oh, I yeah. wish I, I didn't try enough shit when I was young. I know. When that do did you watch all both? Yep. When that dude gave her that um that liquid shit? I didn't even know if she was supposed to snort it, lick it, because since it was on a knife, I'm like, is she supposed to just like snort that? Uh, inject. I didn't know what the fuck was supposed to happen, bro. And then when she licked it, I'm like, whoa. That was a, a very uncomfortable scene. I loved, um, what's his name? Uh, God, I can't remember shit. That widow, bro? That blonde, yeah. bro? Yeah, he's yeah. cute. Redhead? Well, he's like, well, he, he noticed the, uh, what's, a, what's her face? The blonde chick and uh she he knew right away that they would be friends jules jules that god i think i'm drinking too much because i can't remember shit dude oh i can't i just saw it last night otherwise i won't remember like i can't remember names of people well do you know though too bro you just went through this semester of school that like really like work your brain out so maybe you're just resting yeah, but I've been, like, catching up on sleep. That's all I do is sleep. <laughs> oh, so my bro. brain is rested. Let me tell you something. Speaking of sleep, my new neighbor sucks. Yeah, uh -oh. I said it, bitch. And apparently, well, I don't know if we can hear everything or she's just super fucking loud. But goddamn, she's loud. So this morning at 9 in the morning, and I know it's not early, I.O. Cats and Kittens, for some of you. For me, it is. On a Saturday morning, when you planned on, like, waking up around 11, and then she puts, like, blasts her music at 9, and I know she's, like, moving, and she's probably still organizing. Bitch, organize and quiet. Like, organize without music, and then turn what it on. What kind of music like, did she play? Bruh, it was, like, a combination of, like, some hip-hop, some pop, some, which is oh. fine, but when you only hear the bass, <laughs> it's like, oh. whoa. And it's literally oh. above my bed. So I was like, chill, bitch. But nah, she gonna get tonight. She gonna learn today, bro. We staying up until like 3 in the morning and we're blasting. Because usually when I listen to music after 10, I put my headphones on. So I'm dancing around here like, like an idiot. You know? But uh, with my headphones on. But not tonight, bro. She gonna learn today. Because I have a weird... Especially with Corona and everything, I have a weird uh, lifestyle. <laughs> I have a weird, like, sleeping patterns and stuff, especially on the weekends. 
So she don't want to fuck with that, bro. Because I'll be okay with her putting on music super early. I, I have to wake up early anyway. If it's on a weekend, fuck it, bro. I'll just sleep during the day. But she won't be able to, you know, be up until 2, 3, 5 in the morning every day. So she better learn. And she better not take my parking spot either because that will be the straw. The that broke the camel's back. There you go. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, besides, I don't want to talk about her. Uh, but yeah, drugs though, drugs. Um, drugs. That, was, that one was crazy, but have you done ecstasy? And you don't have to say, we can edit it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I no, I've done acid. I've never done shrooms. acid. I've done acid and shrooms. People two told times, me. Go two ahead. times I did shrooms. One time I did acid. How did that? Well, how was the acid? It was really good because we were in a mellow. I was with mellow people. Actually, three times. Oh, shit. I did mushrooms with my niece. And she started acting all stupid. And it just, it like, brought brought my, she brought my chip down. Mm. So... Yeah, and my sister, she, she's, we started catching fairies for her. <laughs> so that was a good trip. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then my, my other niece, she went all stupid. Like she started getting all serious and stuff. I'm like, dude, go to bed. Well, well, that was, what I, was what I was going to tell you about shrooms that they always, people always tell me that I, because of how my paranoia works and my brain works, everybody that is like a close person to me that has done it tells me that I better not unless I'm in a, a, a situation and place where I feel super, super secure or yeah. else I'm going to trip that. So when you have like issues, like you don't want to really, I mean, you're literally fucking with your brain. So you're already shouldn't yeah. be doing that stuff. It so, fucked in my brain because, well, when I did those cookies, <laughs> I thought it was on acid again. That's why I was like, oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> it was just too much. Oh, shit. So I, I'll never, I don't think I'll ever do. Edibles? That's it. Not, not, no, acid or mushrooms because. Oh. It, it just fucks your, like, shit up. My shit is already fucked up. Um, I, I'm going to stick with alcohol. It'll kill my liver just as, just as well. That's true. <laughs> it's still some brain cells, too. <laughs> yeah. Cállese, papa. Um, well, I haven't done that. I have done um, Molly and Ecstasy. And... Um, that, yeah, it's not a, obviously there's like a, a, a very brief moment that's good, right? But what comes with it is not worth it, bro. Like a hangover, I can deal with a hangover, you know? It's not the best thing in the world, but I could deal with it. Uh, after ecstasy, ah, bro, and I know everything that happens to your brain and like that, you know, so you are depressed, you are like, you know, all this stuff is happening to you. But besides that, um, I did it before I was 30. And I'll tell you about that story in a minute. But, and then after yeah, 30. Mm, yeah, I actually, not a idea. after the, the next day, I was so sick and I threw up and it was bad. Yeah, see, like, I mean, I don't, I don't really do coke or anything like that, so I don't know if that has any, like, side effects or anything, you know, like the next day or whatever. But, um, but, but fucking ecstasy, ugh, bro, feel like so sad, and your body is just not functioning properly, and you, I couldn't get out of the couch for like a good twelve hours um after i woke up and um but the first time i did it i was in my 20s and i was dating this crazy ass bitch 
and uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you a bitch. I was dating crazy, and uh, <laughs> and you know she she's lived. <laughs> I should say that she's lived, and I don't mean that like she's a whore because she's not. She's actually a really good girl, but and like not sexually, but I mean everything else. She's lived, and she's all like. You need to chew because blah, blah, blah. I swear if she would have told me to put it in my asshole, I probably would have done it. So I did. And that shit hit me hard when I when I chewed it. Because apparently, I don't know, does something different to you? And it hit me fast, bro. I went to a Poly D concert. It was one of the most horrible fucking concerts I've been to. He sucks. I like him. I think, you know, when I used to watch Jersey Shore back in the day when it started, I he was one of my favorite characters. I like the dude. I, I still like him, but he sucks. He, like, sucks ass, bro. I've never... I've been to bars with a DJ better than him. Multiple. Like, he sucked. Anyway, so then we took the fucking ecstasy. And I guess we ended up leaving because it was so bad. And uh, all kinds of other shit happened. I'm like, this is like gems. I won't talk about this until like after uh, we actually have listeners. But <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, that was fucking crazy, bro. I was tripping. I was like, whoa. I couldn't even like, I called someone on the phone and I was like, please, I need you to pick me up right now. Just drop everything you're doing and pick me up right now. Where are you? <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. Well, wh well how am I going to pick you up? If I well... I don't know, but you got to find me. I'm here in the dark. And, well, can you just send me your location? No, I can't. Just do it on your phone. I don't have my phone. You're calling me from it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have my phone. Not a oh, good my time. God, that's funny. <laughs> Not a good time. It's almost as bad as that time that my legs weren't working. <laughs> oh, yes. And my friend carrying me like a baby. <laughs> Oh uh, lordy. Yeah, mm. but nah, drugs are bad. You can you kids. <laughs> you don't know, do you drugs. Um don't, I don't smoke crack. I don't know how podcasts work everywhere else that we're on, like SoundCloud and Spotify, but YouTube definitely asks me, is this for kids? And every single week I say, uh absolutely. <laughs> Undeniably. No, 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 no. My mom can't no. even listen to this. You think a child can listen to this? No. So no, this is not for children, you guys. But uh so guys? don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Kid uh drugs are bad. Euphoria makes it look cool because you think you're gonna be cool like Zendaya, but Zendaya is just a badass bitch. So that's why now she she exudes natural coolness. Um not everybody's like but that. No. She, do you remember she can't even ride her bike though cuz she gets hurt. Yeah, so but it looks, but it looks like oh, you know, like remember when our friend I don't know if I, if I should say her name, maybe I'll bleep it, but when Kenobi told us about she used to ride her bike, they would go to the breweries and go from brewery to brewery and brewery to brewery and then uh Sharkies and then coming down the hill, you know. So that's like a DWI, it could be, right? Because you're writing a, a, a something. And uh, hey, wait a minute. If writing a, D if writing a bicycle gives you a DWI just because you're writing, if you write a dick while drunk. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. more uh, of a personal thing. <laughs> That was a, a nasty dad joke. You know how dad jokes? This was a nasty dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Because you're a G if you can ride. <laughs> if, you can, if you can ride a dick while intoxicated and you don't get pulled over. <laughs> oh! That's a good out. thing. You don't get pulled oh, out. Oh, that's another thing about the show. A lot of sex, huh? A lot of forceful sex is like, because 
Well, will you call that? Is that ugh? Maybe this is not something we want to get into. It. Maybe I shouldn't even say it. Never mind. Never mind. Euphoria is cool, <laughs> and I like it. And it's a well, good show. You yeah, judge the guy, it. the big jock guy. <laughs> yeah, I hate him. Yeah, um, but in real life, he's he's cool. He's like an English dude. But he's so like he's English. Yeah, he's from oh, England. Oh shit! He's so beautiful. Yes. Like his body, like I think he's too <laughs> skinny. Yeah, but he's beautiful. Like his face, and then yeah, he. I probably wouldn't. I think the black guy is more is cuter. Well, I like him too. Oh, <laughs> but I prefer the white. As like you said. <laughs> no, actually, oh. I would not. I would not say no to him, and I wouldn't kick him out. To of be bed honest, unless... to be honest, they both are too small. Yeah, like I like I like a big, small. like a big husky, like the rock kind of dude. Oh God, bro, that's not husky. You're like my auntie. I'm not. I might bleep this, but she's all like, "The only black guy that I would ever like would be The Rock." And I'm like, "Uh, he's not black, first of all, and second, racist." Well, I'm, I'm talking about like he's tall. And, and oh no, no, but for you, bro, like he's fucking massive. He's massive. Like you don't, can't compare anybody to him. You can't be like, "Oh no," like nah, bro. Like that motherfucker is massive. If more like Michael B. Jordan, he's a little bit, a little bit bigger than those guys from the show because yeah. they have a really good, mu like they're muscly, but they're trim. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like Michael B. Jordan has a little bit more meat, even though it's muscle. But like The Rock, are you fucking kidding me, bro? That, that, that motherfucker is a monster. He's massive. He'll crush you. <laughs> no, I will crush him. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> you think you think you can handle what the rock is cooking, bro? <laughs> I just spat all over. Yes, my head. <laughs> I. Have Do had you rock. smell it, bro? <laughs> yes, I can take it. Oh, shit. <laughs> what she said, right. well i probably couldn't but uh they say like that <laughs> they say that guys like that though as big as the rock usually their size is not that impressive oh because of all the stuff they do for their bodies not necessarily steroids but i don't know hmm. that's what i've heard I've yet to yeah, prove I've heard that it. Too, but... Like we should do, we sh you should prove it for us. You should do like a, a how do you say encuesta, a survey. This means you're gonna see a lot of dicks. I don't know how you're gonna get to do that, because I don't expect you to sleep with all of them. Because then you're a whore. But if that's what you want to be in twenty, COVID or if that's what you want to be in twenty twenty one, bro, I'll support you. However. I will call you on it. Whore. I'll tell you, hey, my little slutty friend, how are you? Because <laughs> <laughs> I have slutty friends. And I don't mean to say that, but like they're promiscuous. You know what I mean? They're like um, a little bit looser than what I, my taste. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My taste is like, nah, you better fucking be a virgin before you come to my house. <laughs> Damn. Uh, unless it's for one night, then it's all good. Oh, ah, just kidding, you You're guys. It's entertainment. <laughs> it's called an entertainment oh, comedy oh. podcast. It's a show. Look at my hairline. <laughs> just kidding. don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look you at like it. Just kidding. A lady in. On the street, but a in the bed. 
Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't want a that? A lady in the streets, but a freak in the bed. Mm, who doesn't want that, bro? That's the best thing in the world. But those are... That's what I am. I'm a lady, but I can freak in the bed. You know what I'm saying? This is true. I don't know why it's, it's so hard for women to just do that. And I understand they want to get some too, but like, I don't know, bro. Like, just keep your two, just keep that pussy tight. Eat some kegels. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> what else did I have to tell my you? Um, I, I drew have... in my eyebrows. They're looking a little light. Oh, nice, bro. You know, eyebrows are everything, bro. Like, eyebrows make eyebrows. Well, and a smile and eyelashes change your face now nah, eyelashes yes if you see a person with big eyelashes yes but it, eyebrows in a smile are more powerful than eyes nose uh shape of the face hair like eyebrows and smile and i'm not saying a certain type because everybody has their own type their own taste right but right right that's a big deal. Like if you see, a, uh, if you get a person that you like and you take away their mouth and their eyebrows, they don't look the same, bro. So. Yeah, that's true. Eyebrows are a big deal, bro. So cool, bro. Like, uh, you know, I started feeling the little scar that I have. And then one day I was just like, fuck it. And then I trimmed too much my eyebrow hair. And then I couldn't cover it. So I was like devastated because I was like, ah, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I actually want to cover it. But I mean, it is what it is. So someone tells me that um, a little lady I talked to tells me that the, that the, this was like the lesbian thing. That lesbians like shave their eyebrow. That must have not been my time. Because when I came here to the U.S., they used to ask me if I was in a gang. Because that was like <laughs> gang related. So she's like, no, that's lesbian related. I'm like, well, there is an age gap. So maybe in her time means lesbian. In my time meant a gay. A gay. <laughs> Una pandilla. So I was like, no, I'm not in a gang. I said like this and I don't even speak English. <laughs> so no, I'm not in a gang. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Uh, I feel like I had enough, like a, something really important to tell you and I told myself I'm going to write it down and I fucking didn't. Damn it. And I don't know what it was. I'm confused if it was something to do with our New Year's thing. Oh no, not New Year's. New Year's, that's something we got to talk about. Um, our, our anniversary thing. No, but... Uh, New Year's, are we hanging out or you're going somewhere? What? Are we hanging out for New Year's or you're going somewhere? I'm not going anywhere. Oh, okay. Do you want to go? Is that on a Saturday? New Year's is Thursday. Let me get well, a drink. Yeah, let's make it. Let's make a martini. I'm old. It's going to take me a while to get up. They say this is old dad sounds. I wouldn't know because I don't have a father. They won by one point. Yeah, that's what I told you. That's crazy, bro. That's, that's actually, I'm looking forward to watch the highlights. It looks like a really good game. Yeah, that would have been a good one to watch. That's sad. I'm sad that we didn't get to see it. Actually, like, been thinking about it all day because I was thinking, you know, it's my homie's teams. But well, I kind of cool if they may at least made it to the playoffs. Oh, dude, we might my make dog. it to the playoffs. What? My, my no team, my no name team. <laughs> We might make it to the playoffs, bro. Shit. I'm super excited with our quarterback, quarterback that almost lost his leg. 
But anyway, that would be cool if the Dolphins and the No Name team were in the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's not going to happen, but that would be cool. <laughs> you don't know. Um, Why is that to be a naysayer? Because I, the Seahawks are doing really good. How the fuck are we going to get uh, uh, Kansas City out of here? Um, fucking. That's uh, going to happen. Okay. All right, bro. Let's try. Let's try. My martini tastes funky. That would, that would just. Uh oh. What happened? I think it's because I use vodka. Oh. I usually. <laughs> you know what I haven't had in a long time? What? This is a gin and tonic. Oh, I had one the other day. <laughs> I just didn't want to use the rest of my gin. <laughs> Oh. So I made myself a vodka martini, which was bad. I should have made myself a gin. But I'm not a, a gin and tonic with lime. Oh mm. my god! A gin and <sighs> what happened? Donde estás? Silencio, silencio. Just kidding. I don't know what happened. Bye. What the fuck is this? And tú me pichaba. Ahora yo pichao. And tú me querido. Ahora yo no quiero. That was easy. Tranqui. Y yo perreo sola. Y yo perreo sola. See, if this was a live show, I would have to entertain you. That's what I would do. I'm just kidding. That shit is in my head. Lorisi probably lost. Um, Lorisi probably. Her phone turned off. Most likely. Because my texts are not going through. So... We might have to sh shut it down. Shut it down! Just kidding, you guys. Uh, anyway. Well. We are the Bodega Cats. Even though there's only one cat in the room. I am 54 Peach. And this right here is a little crazy. Hello. Lorezy is not here, but um, she's having technical difficulties. And uh, okay, well, I guess we're ending the podcast. And uh, episode 56. <sighs> Happy anniversary for those of you that have been hanging in there. And um, we will see you again. I think by the time this podcast actually is on, it'll be after New Year's. So happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Stay safe. Brush your teeth. Wear your mask. Get the vaccine if you can. If it's safe, don't go get like some crazy that someone's selling on the side on your corner. And uh, be merry. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, I guess that's all I have to tell you. And when you watch porn, just make sure that. Um, well, anyway, I will end this with a phrase from Frida Kahlo. Pies, pa' que los quiero, si tengo alas pa' volar. The Bodega Cats.